Hey guys, Conceive Straw One here, and today we're going to be playing some Beam and G, which is what I want to mainly do on my channel. But yeah, and this is going to be way worse than net videos I would normally make for this game because this happens a lot where the game just freezes. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Nissan Terreno. Which is not a Pessima skin. And, uh, yeah, this won't be very good because I still need to get my Script Maker 10,000 for these videos. And, which I'm not sure when I will get it, but it'll be a little while. And before I even. No, hit any buttons on my keyboard or, or even drive the vehicle what we are it we are going to have the game freeze again but what I was going to say was we are just going to take a very quick well not so quick look at this because this thing is probably the most detailed vehicle for this game Yeah, and I really like all of the details on this vehicle. So, just, I'm just going to start looking, and I really like this because, like, the overdrive light actually lights up when you hit it, and you have, like, all sorts of just little details that you don't see in the stock vehicles for this game. But, like, and, of course, it does still have all the functionality of the vehicles in this game. And the pedals move, of course. And steering wheel and all that. And I really like when you hit the lights, everything lights up. And there's a little high beam indica indicator. And I like this a lot because, like, if I get to... Like, somewhere that's really bumpy on this, you'll see that it actually moves. Yes. Like, you'll see it move up and down and left and right, and I think I just hit something. But that's something I really like about this. And uh, then you have just all of this detail on the vents stuff, and all of these details on the uh, radio and a, and a cassette player and you have your low range and the two to four wheel drive your gear selector parking brake and then I'm not quite sure what this is but then you have the sport and touring at shock settings, which I really like. There's no way to click that or change that at all. And then you have the seat belts actually in, which you never see on stock vehicles for this game. And then, like, the outside is really cool because, like, everything has wording on it. But then the one thing I really, really like is in the engine bay. It actually has the Nissan Motor Company bad, or the, uh, oh god, what's it called, I'm forgetting, the VIN plating, which, I'm pretty sure this would be an actual VIN for, a, for this vehicle, and it is a diesel, so you can hear that very clearly, as I'm right next to the Nissan diesel, and it has a turbo, of course, because what good would a diesel be without a turbo? And then way over here on the front, it says Nissan Turbo. And it has the competition no, rally lights on its blue bar. And an extra mirror for the passenger. So it's like the passenger gets all the mirrors. And the driver just gets a couple. 
and then a rear mirror which is which again is just for the passenger so you can look down and see your turbo r3m when you're driving and then you have all of this i'm not going to read all this you can if you want just pause the video and so uh, yeah this is the car and it drives like what it is a 94 horsepower diesel uh, nissan uh, um suv from the 1990s <coughs> If you just heard a loud thunk, that was from my cat, who just darted across half of the, the, my room right now. And then... So, yeah. It's not very quick, it's not very speedy, but I came to Utah, USA, because it is good for off-roading. And... Well, I did not mean to do that, but yeah, it crashes really nice, as you can see. It's really nice crashes. And so that's all we're going to do with this version. And then there's still a ton of, of uh, versions left to get through. Not a whole load, but yeah. And then this is a standard one with a different paint job, which I will pull out just for the paint job because I'm that kind of guy. So yeah, Torino paint job. And I really love the blue color. And then, so that's all we're going to do. And now we're going to what, move over to the off-road, which I'm actually going to use for some. Can you guess it? Can you guess what I'm gonna do? Off-roading. Well, first we have to get to the off-road section that I want to go to. Which, I'm not quite sure how to get there. No, I know. I know the way. This this thing, if you thought it would have more power, no. It's just lifted, removes the spare tire, and... It puts some different wheels on it, and adds locking differentials into snorkel. I just said and a lot, didn't I? Oh well. And that is wait. Yeah, well, I'm gonna continue accelerating. I don't care how fast I'm going. Maybe I do care. Accelerate, accelerate. Reverse. Eh, yeah, well. Why did I? Why did I start over there? Why didn't I start down here? I knew exactly where I was gonna go to do off roading. Why? Why? This should be the way, I'm not 100%. And if you can't tell, this video is not scripted. No, wait, I already said that. But, yeah. It, they will be better for Beam and G. Much better. Golly, I can't handle the uh, vehicle that pulls because I'm using a keyboard, not a controller. Because I only have one Xbox One controller, and it is, if you can guess, hooked up to my Xbox One. And, come on, car, accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. 30 miles per hour. we we'll go 30 on this. Go, go, go! And I have locked the differentials, just because I know I'll forget by the time I get over there. If this is even the right way, it should be. Well, if it isn't, I can just turn. Either way. There's desert all over the place! Not that way, though. No, this is the right way. And none of the vehicles in this are pretty fast, I think. There might be one or two faster ones, but I was going through the parts selector, doing some stuff, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you can't really modify the engine very much, so I don't think there are any faster versions. 
There might be, you never know. And come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ugh, oh, this thing is so slow. And nobody worry, my Minecraft series will be coming back soon. And I have some videos planned for the future for a, uh, for a video on the server that I have mentioned several times before on my channel. You will know that when it comes out, because I will mention it. But yeah, here's a really good place to see the yeah, clinometer in action. So you can see it moves with the vehicle. And Coco, cat, hey! Sorry, cat's trying to get into my pretzels. So yeah, it moves with the vehicle. And I really like that. Like, that is just a feature I really like in this vehicle. It's like, almost everything is functional. And, cat, don't try to get into my pretzels again! Sorry, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back now. Sorry about that. Stupid cat trying to get into my pretzels. That's why I don't like her very much. But her sister's a good little girl, isn't she? Oh, my cats are such a pain. And now we are going to be taking a look at the McCann. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, which... I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be. At all. So, there's a look at it. And then you have a... DMAT, or Disaster Medical Assistance Team version, which is just a normal one with the spare tire removed and a fancy paint job. Again, I think. Oh, and a light bar. And overdrive, if on this does work, or you can activate it and deactivate it, but I have yet to notice a difference. Because I'm hitting the button. You can see me, I'm hitting the button. And I'm not actually seeing any change. On anything. So, uh, yeah, I have to do some more testing on that. But, uh, yeah. Who knows, maybe it does something. Maybe it does do something. Only the creator knows. Unless the creator doesn't know. That would be weird. Why wouldn't the creator know? I shouldn't have said anything. And now for the next and final version. If I can click on the tab. The AJ Limited, which is a wide body version. So, it's just this. And I love the paint job on this thing. It's so cool. And the wheels. The wheels are also pretty awesome. And maybe on this one you could actually see what overdrive does. Oh no, this is the road with the jump. I was at a very bad angle for that. And... Well... Yikes. Um, yeah, this thing is bad. Um, yeah, I would, yeah. That thing was pretty badly damaged. So, but yeah, and I think that is going to pretty much be it. I'll let you hear what it sounds like for a little bit. And, uh, yeah. So, I will be back in just a few seconds. Like, ten seconds or something, I don't know. And okay, I am back, so...
that is going to be it for this video, and please like, so bye!